Question number 1. Which is essential in the cognitive development of persons according to Vygotsky? A. Independent thinking. B. Social interaction. C. Individual mental work. D. Scientific thinking. Answer. B. Social interaction. Question number 2. It is advisable to promote manipulative materials to a child in his early childhood to develop blank. A. Numerical skills. B. Reading readiness skills. C. Social skills. D. Prehand writing skills. Answer. D. Prehand writing skills. Question number 3. Which features of learning environment support meaningful learning and assessment? 1. Attention to development. 2. Authentic performance. 3. Active in-depth learning. 4. Homogeneous grouping. 5. Appreciation for diversity. A1, 3, 4, 5. B1, 2, 3, 5. C1, 2, 4. D, 2, 3, 4. Answer. B1, 2, 3, 5. Question number 4. In transmission teaching, there is a sense of accomplishment that facts were taught and a chapter finished. This is in contrast with active learning when the teacher needs to construct a blank to guide the learning process. A plan. B tool. C signal. D scaffolding. Answer. D scaffolding. Question number 5. Key factors in developing effective learning environments are classroom disciplinary climate and teacher's self-efficacy. Which conclusion can be derived from this statement? A. The teacher is the key to an effective learning environment. B. Students who are subjected to disciplinary measures contribute to an effective learning environment. C. A disciplinarian teacher creates a favorable learning environment. D. The discipline from an authoritarian teacher yields a conducive learning atmosphere. Answer. A. The teacher is the key to an effective learning environment. Question number 6. In a review of studies on the impact of support in school, a research institute found out that a caring school climate is associated with a. Higher grades, engagement, attendance, expectations and aspirations, a sense of scholastic competence, b. Fewer school suspensions and on-time progression through grades, c. Higher self-esteem and self-concept, d. Less anxiety depression and loneliness, and e. less substance abuse. An implication of this research finding for improved learning, is that the school should blank. a. Focus on grades. b. Develop a faculty that is concerned with children's welfare. c. Integrate substance abuse in its curriculum. d. Track class attendance. Answer. B. Develop a faculty that is concerned with children's welfare. Question number 7. In which type of classroom climate can students participate in the kind of learning to live together? A. In competitive classrooms. B. In democratic classrooms. C. 
C. In individualistic classrooms. D. In autocratic classrooms. Answer. B. In democratic classrooms. Question number 8. Which is true of a democratic classroom? A. Policies are a matter of group discussion and decision. B. Decision is a monopoly of the teacher. C. Decision is left entirely to students. D. Suggestions are frowned upon. Answer. A. Policies are a matter of group discussion and decision. Question number 9. According to PSA's stages of cognitive development, between ages 12 and 15, children reach formal operational stage. What are they capable of being at this stage? A. Can focus on only one aspect of a situation or event. B. Can solve abstract problems and think deductively. C. Can reason inductively or deductively. D. Can do multitasking. Answer. B. Can solve abstract problems and think deductively. Question number 10. Research on teacher effectiveness practices has shown that blank A directions should be few and best delivered in a casual manner B planning has little impact in student learning C questioning strategies are ineffective monitoring techniques D teaching procedures on classroom routines early in the school year are essential Answer. D. Teaching procedures on classroom routines early in the school year are essential. Question number 11. Which are said to be the formative years? A. 0 to 5 years. B. 3 to 5 years. C. 2 to 7 years. D. 0 to 7 years. Answer. A 0 to 5 years. Question number 12. He pioneered in the study of childhood experience to understand a personality. A. Erickson. B. Freud. C. Bandura. D. Piazza. Answer. B. Freud. Question number 13. Which holds true of adolescence? A. Lack of idealism. B. Dependence. C. Spurt in physical growth and hormonal changes. D. Defiance of peer group norm. Answer. C. Spurt in physical growth and hormonal changes. Question number 14. In what developmental stage will the college graduating student fall? A. Pre-adolescence. B. Adolescence. C. Early adulthood. D. Middle adulthood. Answer. C. Early adulthood. Question number 15. Research findings show that students' motivation may vary according to socioeconomic background. Which observation can attest to this? A. Females are more likely than males to earn higher grades. B. 
Students from low-income families are among those likely to be at risk for failing and dropping from school. C. Gifted students are more highly motivated. D. More boys than girls become underachievers. Answer. B. Students from low-income families are among those likely to be at risk for failing and dropping from school. Question number 16. Researchers found that when a child is engaged in a learning experience a number of areas of the brain are simultaneously activated. What is an application of this in the teaching learning process? 1. Make us of field trips, guest speakers. 2. Do multicultural units of study. 3. Stick to the left brain and right brain approach. A. 2 only. B1 only. C1 and 3. D1 and 2. Answer. D1 and 2. Question number 17. Research says, people tend to attribute their successes to internal causes and their failures to external causes. Based on this finding, what should be taught to your students for them to be genuinely motivated to succeed? A. Make them realize that both success and failure are more a function of internal causes. B. Tell them that the research finding when applied will make them genuinely motivated. C. Convince them that genuine motivation is the only factor that matters for a person to succeed. D. Make them realize that failure is a part of life. Answer. C. Convince them that genuine motivation is the only factor that matters for a person to succeed. Question number 18. Which violates this brain-based principle of teaching learning? Each child's brain is unique and vastly different from one another. A. Giving ample opportunity for a pupil to explore even if the class creates noise. B. Making a left-handed pupil write with his right hand as this is better. C. Allowing open dialogue among students. D. Employing me teaching approaches. Answer. B. Making a left-handed pupil write with his right hand as this is better. Question number 19. In which order do the three important goals during childhood be attained according to Erickson? A. Autonomy, initiative, trust. B. Trust, autonomy, initiative. C. Initiative, trust. Autonomy D. Autonomy, Trust, Initiative Answer B. Trust, Autonomy, Initiative Question number 20 Around this age the child begins to toilet train which brings about the child's fascination in the erogenous zone of the anus. A. Latency period. B. Genital period. C. Anal stage. D. Oral stage. Answer. C. Anal stage. Question number 21. It refers to the unconscious fear of penile loss in men, which originates during the phallic stage of sexual development and lasts a lifetime. A. Castration anxiety. B. Oedipus complex. C. Electric complex. D. Parental complex. Answer. 
A castration anxiety. Question number 22. At the preoperational stage of Piaget's cognitive development, the child can see only his point of view and assumes that everyone also has his same point of view. What is this tendency called? A transductive reasoning. B animism. C egocentrism. D conservatism. Answer. C egocentrism. Question number 23. How can a teacher help students with different learning and thinking styles continue to learn more effectively? A. Allow sufficient time for processing different types of information. B. Provide a general overview of the lesson. C. Use a variety of reflection strategies. D. Use questions of all types to stimulate various levels of thinking and valuing. Answer. C. Use a variety of reflection strategies. Question number 24. Gina, a preschooler, insists on dressing herself each morning for school, even though she generally selects mismatching outfits, misses buttons, and wears her shoes on the wrong feet. When her mother tries to dress Jane or fix her outfit, Jane brushes her mother off and insists on doing it herself. What stage of psychosocial development best describes Jane's behavior? A. Trust versus Mistrust B. Initiative versus Guilt C. Autonomy versus Shame and Doubt D. Initiative versus Guilt Answer C. Autonomy versus Shame and Doubt Question number 25. Skinner is known for his theory based upon the notion that learning is a result of change in overt behavior, meaning, an individual responds to events that occur in the environment. This theory came to be known as blank. A. Connectionism. B. Stimulus response associations. C. Classical conditioning. D. Operant conditioning. Answer. D. Operant conditioning. <laughs>